Welcome to this project for the web video and today we're going to cover using icons with an overall health field that uh, I created as part of a project entity and project for the web and uh, as you can see I'm logged into the Power Apps interface and I'm looking at my list of projects with the all projects view selected. Here's the overall health field that I used previously in another video. Uh, the first thing we're going to need here is some actually some icons and if you have access to a project online environment you can get some icons from a custom field here I'm just navigating to my project scope field and uh, when I go to the values to display section I can just right click on an indicator and select save image as ideally you want indicators that are 16 by 60 just save them to a local folder as you can see I save mine there those indicators are ready to go and can be used in my environment so it's all good quick look at my formula so that's my javascript it just evaluates my overall health field looks at the value simple cases evaluate the values in them one will be green two yellow three red any other value is going to default to a gray circle right so it's pretty straightforward uh, this particular formula can modify as needed and obviously and use it for other fields that you might have in your environment so pretty simple to do. Uh, so let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Solution Explorer and we get there by navigating to Advanced Settings. And that'll bring up our settings. And then we go to Customizations. And then we can select Customize the System. It'll bring up another window. And in here we're in the Solution Explorer. Go ahead and make this a little wider. And the first thing we're going to do is expand it's quite a bit going on at my web resource section of course um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out and expand my entities and I'm gonna go to the uh, project entity in this case we'll expand the project entity and then we'll click on fields which will show me all the project attributes in this case and there's my overall health field I can select it and then select the edit button and now we're looking at the info for this field and there's my options set and if I select this edit button it'll show some more information about the option set and what I want to point out here is that uh, notice when I select this item on track I have both a label and a value field my JavaScript's evaluating the value and what I'm going to do is change this value to uh, easier to values I'm going to like you said before my on track is going to be one on watch is going to be two based on what I have in my my JavaScript and then trouble is going to be three therefore I just type in those new values click save each time and then we'll confirm we'll click on on track there's my one two and three those all look good I can therefore save and close out of this dialog and that will take care of the changes for my overall health and one thing I want to point out is this is the actual name of the field the overall health that needs to be used in the formula right so what I need to do is actually replace CR0B3 right With that name Okay, so back to my dialog, close out of that. Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and create web resources for our graphical indicators or icons. Type a name, display name, it's gonna be on track. Description will be on track as well. The type's gonna be ping, they're ping images. Language, English, and then I just navigate to the image. Pretty straightforward here, we'll save this one. And then we'll just close out of it. And I'm gonna create these uh, web resources for, again, the green, the yellow, and the red indicators, right? So this is gonna be a yellow indicator. And remember this one's on watch. That will be the display name, as well as my description. We'll go ahead and give it a type of ping again, language of English. And we'll go ahead and navigate to that yellow circle. We'll save this one, and then we'll close out of it. And then finally, we'll create that uh, that third circle, which is going to be circle red. And then my display name will be troubled, as well as description will be troubled. Type, you know, again, it's going to be the same as before. It's going to be the ping format. Might as well just go ahead and select that. Language will be English. And again, we'll browse to that file, which will be circle red. And we'll save that image and uh, we'll exit out of there. Okay. Now we need to create 
another resource, and this is going to be the resource for that JavaScript file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the name that I want to use for my formula, which is display icon tooltip overall health. Type is going to be JavaScript, language English, and then we click on text editor. And what we do is we take and we paste the formula right in that text editor and click OK and close out of there. And then we save that web resource. And again, that web resource is a JavaScript file. Uh, and ultimately that, that becomes a formula within the system that we can use. And you'll see that shortly. Going back to entities, I'm going to my uh, project entity because what I need to do here is locate my views. And then we're going to actually update that all projects view, select the view under more actions, select edit. And this will bring up that all projects viewer for editing. So what I do is I select the overall field, uh, overall health field, select change properties. And notice I put new underscore because that's what all the fields are created with. And then I paste in the name of the formula. It finds it in the system, paste in the function name, click OK. And really that's it. That's the extent of the changes to the view. It's really that simple. Publish all customizations. Make sure everything is going to be updated within the system. Exit out of that solution explorer. And I'm going to close my uh, Power Apps interface there and then relaunch that model driven app I created in a previous video. And what I want to do is navigate to projects. Currently, my active projects view is displayed, but I'm going to select all projects. And there you go. Overall health field now has graphical indicators to the left of the text. Change this train and deploy from trouble to on watch. I would expect it's going to go to yellow. Click back on projects. And uh, sure enough, train and deploy goes to yellow. Great. And really, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.